to Starbucks. They're a fully woke corporation. They embrace BLM, even as their supporters rioted across America. But that's not saved them from the vegans. Look at this protest and watch for the milk-loving non-vegan at the end. <laughs> And uh, before I get your commentary, who could forget earlier this year when actor James Cromwell, you'll remember him from the movie Babe, he also protested at a Starbucks, super glued himself to a Starbucks counter in New York to protest the uh, coffee chain's surcharge for non-dairy milk. Starbucks has admitted that cow's milk is the company's biggest contributor to its carbon footprint. Reducing cow's milk generates three times more greenhouse gases than producing vegan options. When will you stop charging us more for vegan milk? When will you stop raking in huge profits while customers, animals, and the environment suffer? When will you stop penalizing people for their ethnicity or their morals? Pro, do you feel a little bit sorry for Starbucks or, you know what, do they deserve this? After all, they got involved in the political activism and uh, they're getting some of the, uh, their own medicine back. Well, I think so. You know, I think all these corporations that are going woke, you know, deserve to go broke because we've seen time and time again the ludicrous nature of this. And when you've got... I wonder if this guy, you know, when they un unglued his fingers, did they unhinge his mind? Or maybe it was already there. But And these fanatical... <laughs> vegans who is you know the poor cows I mean what do the cows ever do to anyone you know and and I just feel it's really sad that we're going this way this whole generation of of fanatical insane people who are so obsessed look if you want to go vegan go soy go whatever you know do it just don't in condemn the rest of us who want to just eat, and I'm going to say it, normally. I mean, we just, we just don't need <laughs> to be lectured to by these really sad, pathetic people.